Today we're going to a secret speakeasy bar. And speakeasy is based on the prohibition period. We'll see if we can break the code and figure out the password to get in. Now if you're not familiar with the lower floor of Bally's, all the way at the back of the casino, there's stairs that go down to the food court. There's a new place on your right called The Lock. The Lock is an interesting little bar. It's a cute little bar. And the room has a lot of very unusual decoration. Now tell me, can you remember 12 things that you see in these cabinets? back over here to this uh, very secured looking vault door. Mindy appears to be waiting for a phone call. Hello, you've reached Martini Mindy. I'm good. This is Yes. Okay. <laughs> wink, wink, yes. Okay, I got it. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the password. I'm sorry, we can't tell you the password to get through the first door. And then I gotta give the password. He was like, we only serve water in here, wink wink. But even after you get through the first door, you still have to figure out the code to get through one of the other two entrances. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi. So, uh, you're about to enter the Prohibition era. Yay. Okay. Yeah, so we don't talk about alcohol at all. <laughs> <laughs> there's two ways into the joint. You can go through. Of course. <laughs> so there's practice code followed by the during the green safe. This one, this one, and the one behind you there, sir. This is Lola on it. Okay. Open them up, check them out. Okay, that one's really tough, sir. That was a hard one. Just like that, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Make it pretty easy to get to the sauce, but you know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I keep her around. Good job, guys. Good job. Yep. Right on. So, two drink minimum, 90 minute experience in there. Okay. Um, like I say, you're no longer in Vegas. This is a beautiful place. It's, it's, what I, it's the thing that I look at for. I don't like shots and Jack and Cokes and no. wild Vegas. I like a nice place. Good music, good company. Enjoy a cocktail in a quiet environment. Yes. That's what this is. Yes. Our mixologist Armin will handcraft you a cocktail based off your taste profiles, your personalities, and things like that. So you two have a wonderful time. We will. <laughs> you two have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you. It's like a fucking criminal skin. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And then also a uh, waffle cocktail. Ooh. So this is meant to cleanse your palate, settle your stomach, and prepare you for your experience. Thank you. If you're feeling adventurous, I'll come back by and ask you a series of questions. And um, our mixologist will customize a cocktail for you based on your mood, your taste palette, and your zodiac. It's a very dim and quiet atmosphere. Very relaxing and pleasant. They give you a couple of drinks to cleanse your palate, prepare you for your drink experience. Now they ask you a series of questions and make a drink custom for you. When they picked out Mindy's drink preferences, they hit the nail right on the head. Mine, not so much. <laughs> I traded mine in for an espresso martini, which they made very good. This place is cool, it's so quiet, I like it. You can only stay for 90 minutes and there is a two drink minimum per person. Everybody's very friendly and entertaining. Make sure you get my good friend. Is that that's this one, isn't it? Alright. <laughs> I'll give you a little tip on what to watch out for. Some of these paintings have secrets. We thoroughly enjoyed our drinks. We were surprised the place is so small. Six or eight people in the whole bar, not counting, I think, five people that were working in the room. But the room is so small and, and quaint. Uh, you can't help but to make friends with the uh, other people who found this secret room. <laughs> the short time we were there, we made several friends. Being the observant, being the observant person that I am, I learned another secret. Now we asked the Major D about the secret that I accidentally discovered, but he did he did allow us to go see it, but he asked me not to give their secrets away. We went to see it. 
and everybody else in the room was curious as well. Almost everybody. There was one guy who stayed at his table. I don't know if he has no curiosity or if he just wanted to stay in a safe place. I'll show you a little clue of what the secret is. I think everybody we met that day had relatives in Oklahoma. And we made some more friends. Everybody in the place was just so friendly. <laughs> friendly is the best way to describe that atmosphere. When you leave the lock, you can go visit their gift shop. It's all the way down the hall towards the food court. It's a gift shop for the cabinet, the lock, and National Geographic's rarely seen exhibit. Mindy did find one thing that she couldn't resist and had to get. She found this Death and Company Modern Classic Cocktails book. Looks like an encyclopedia of cocktails. About 300 pages worth of information on drinking. I have a very strong suspicion that you will be seeing this book in future episodes of Martini Monday with me. As always, thank you for watching and hit those buttons.